Hello my friends, this is Tanya from Tanya Plants. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a velvet pocket folder divider for your ring bound planner. This black velvet pocket folder will make your planner look fabulous and upscale. As you may know, pocket folders are a great way to hold loose papers like receipts and stickers, and they're also a great way to sort and divide your planner inserts into sections. So to save time, I listed the supplies I used underneath this video with links that would take you directly to the supplies in case you're interested. And the first thing I did to start this project was that I made a trip to my local Hobby Lobby store. You can go into any craft store and pick up some specialty paper to make your pocket divider. So here I am, Tanya Plans, in a craft store. And you know what I think? I think that sometimes planner enthusiasts are misunderstood. Sometimes when I tell people that I like to use planners and that I have a planner YouTube channel, they assume that I'm a nerd. Now while some of that may be true, I believe that planner enthusiasts are some of the most creative people. They often like to do DIY or do-it-yourself projects. And also, because of their creativity, I think that's why they're there's such a close relationship between people who use planners and people who use stickers because the stickers are actually a creative outlook for some people. Now I don't use stickers like that. I only use stickers on a functional level but stickers can be looked at like a work of art. So let's get back to the subject at hand. So here I am at Hobby Lobby and this is the specialty paper section. I am picking out some shiny black paper for my pocket divider as well as as some black velvet. Now this black velvet paper is actually called Beetle Black. I also picked up some other specialty papers in here in case I wanted to make some more pocket dividers later, but they had a lot of great options. Now the specialty paper I used was 12 inches by 12 inches. And again, here is the velvet paper, and here is the shiny black paper, and here is some marble vellum. And I got this from Amazon, and I thought it would be great because it would match my Carrera planner inserts. So what I am doing, we're gonna take this into two steps. I am right now, making the back side of the pocket divider with the marble on the back. Because my velvet paper did not have something printed on the other side, I just simply glued the marble vellum to the back of the paper. Next, you would want to take your planner insert and just trace it because you want the back side of your pocket divider to be the same size as your planner inserts. And here I am just cutting that out. and we're finished with the back side of the paper. Now I am here just gluing down the vellum to make sure it does not lift up and that pretty much completes the back of the pocket divider. So now we're going to work on the front of the pocket divider which is the velvet part. So you grab your velvet paper. So now what you want to do, you want to turn your velvet paper over and do the same thing. You kind of, you're tracing your planner inserts with a half inch board. So just go around your planner inserts and add a half an inch on three sides. And you do this because you are going to fold this in to make the pocket and you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. So you're going to cut that with the extra space. So now you're going to take the marble part that you did that makes up the back and you're going to fold the velvet over that to make it easy. Now I messed up right here. I tried to fold this velvet without scoring it first. So you should really take a ruler and some scissors and score it before you try to fold it. And that way your velvet should fold perfectly and crisp. And what I ended up doing, I ended up going back after I folded it because it folded crooked. If you just fold it without scoring velvet, it will fold crooked. So I ended up going back and scoring it later and it made the fold perfect. And you can use your ruler to kind of push down the, the edges here, but you want to fold it down on three sides. But first what I'm going to do is take this corner part and slit it so that when it is folded, it won't overlap and be too bulky and fold over on itself. So you can, you'll see what I mean here. So you simply cut your corners diagonal so that when you fold it, it folds really neatly. And see how nicely that folds there? So here I am, I'm going back and I'm scoring my edges because I noticed that my edges did not fold perfectly. So I'm just taking a ruler, taking a pair of scissors, 
and scoring it. And once I scored it, it folded perfectly. So remember we fold three sides. So this is the front velvet part of the pocket divider. Now we just have to cut a diagonal for our pocket. So what I'm going to do is use a ruler and score with scissors where I would like to cut. And see how you can see the scoring on the other side of the velvet when you do that? You could use something else to kind of mark off where you want to cut, but I thought scoring would be neat because it would show up on the other side of the velvet. And here I am taking my paper cutter. I'm just lining up where I want to cut and I'm cutting the pocket folder diagonal right here. And this will make the front part of my pocket folder. Okay, so we're almost done. As you can see, this is how it's coming together. I'm just cutting another diagonal there so it will fold down perfectly. So now what's left is we need to adhere the velvet part to the shiny back part. So I just used some glue and I put something under there so the glue wouldn't get on the table there. And I generously applied some glue. And I just stick it on the front here and press down and your pocket folder divider is almost completed. I think the black looks very, very classy. So now what's left to do, of course, is to add holes. So I tried to use my Franklin Planner hole puncher, but unfortunately the pocket divider was too thick. So I decided to punch the holes manually. So to do this, I got one of my planner inserts out and I used paper clips so that the planner insert wouldn't move while I am hole punching. So I got just a, my manual hole punch here. And I think I got this from the Dollar Tree. And with the insert attached to the top with paper clips, I punched holes in the pocket divider. And with the manual hole punch, I tried to be as neat as possible, and I made sure I lined up the manual hole punch with the holes on my planner insert. So here is the finished product. Please be sure to like this video. This is Tanya, helping you feel more organized so this can be your best year yet. Take care.